Hi guys. So today I was watching a video by Mrs. Leva, who I follow here and on Instagram. She's also a purse fanatic and her channel is very interesting. She does a lot of unboxings. And anyway, so the things that she's into, like the mini purses that are on trend now. And I'm, I'm always commenting, well, I don't really like mini purses, which, you know, I think that I don't. And then today I, um... I was thinking of like using one of my clutches just because I didn't want to use a big purse today. And I realized that I have a lot of small purses. So despite my saying that, oh, I don't really like mini purses. I do, I like huge structured bags. Um, but I guess I also do like, I don't use them as often is what I think. I mean, unless I'm going to a wedding or, you know, dinner out with friends or with my husband, um, even though when I go with my husband, if we go with our kids, I have a big bag and a book bag for my son and all this other stuff. So I don't, if it's just a date I meant. Anyway, um, so I wanted to share my clutch. There's nothing new here. Everything, I mean, I keep some of them in their boxes, but I've had everything here for ages mostly, except for one that I bought from Amazon. So I'll start with this one. So I had a wedding in May and um i was thinking of wearing a pink dress but i ended up wearing a silver like kind of 1920s inspired uh, beaded dress so i didn't i ended up not using this one and i don't know because i go back and forth this was from amazon but i find that it's so pretty you see it's like the flowers are um you know like tacked on here it has little pearls and um i, I haven't used it yet but i really like this clutch um maybe you know maybe there'll be a summer party coming soon that i can use it with and it's like it's it's structured it's small but it's structured it's uh so i don't know i think i could probably fit my phone in here with or without the case and the lipstick uh one thing about me is so i use i'm nearsighted so i use glasses and um let me move this over here I use glasses and um, I've never been able to put contacts in. Like I've just never been able to do it. So I'm just gonna, oh, I want to show my flowers. They're so pretty. I just got them yesterday. So side tip, when you buy the peonies and they're very like closed up, if you put them in warm water, they will open up and um, it speeds up. They're opening up maybe sometimes a little too much if you make it too hot, the water. Um, but I just love, look how full they are. Anyway, so we were saying, so this one I got off of Amazon. I'll try to find the, well, yeah, I get, I could go into my purchase history and find it. Anyway, the point is, so I don't wear contact lenses, right guys? And um, I've never been able to put them in. I even have a hard time. I don't put eyeliner at the bottom of my eye here, only on top. Uh, I tried a few times and I just, I, I couldn't put the thing in my eye. So anyway. I squint at weddings and stuff like that. Sometimes I bring my glasses and I'll put them away, but I don't think my glasses would fit in here. See, it's kind of rather slim. That was the whole point. Um, now, this one is a funky one. It's very Christmassy, you see? And this one I got from Lizzie Lurch. Lizzie Lurch, yeah. I have, a, I have another clutch of hers with Actually, I don't, I don't think I brought that one, but it's um like a bee mo uh, motif. and um, But this one's very Christmassy, and I loved it. It's These feathers kind of, some of them have come off. Like It still looks very full, but it kind of sheds a little, a little teensy bit. And I'm going to run out of space here soon. Now, the next one, this one I got, I want to say it was a year, maybe two years ago. Definitely a pandemic purchase. Um, I love it. Um, it's beautiful. I do not regret buying it. I would buy it again a million times because I really, really, really do love it. However, oh, I need to see about cleaning it here. I think it has like a little stain. It's this one. So this is called the Uptown, Uptown Clutch, Uptown Pouch, Uptown, the Uptown. It's YSL. And um, I love the contrasting leather here. And I like that it's so like simple, like it's, it's elegant. However, 
guys this is a piece just like literally an accessory you people fit things in here i see them here on youtube but i i don't know how i really don't know how um i mean i have a card here from a birthday that we went to I should probably empty this out um yeah i love it i love it it's beautiful it's very um summery uh but i mean i guess you could put yourself one in here but the things that then it, it looks bulky and then it loses the whole so really in here i have like a card i think i did fit in a little tiny lip gloss and like one of those little perfume samples but this is an accessory like just for the look that's my opinion i do love it um i don't regret buying it but this isn't practical but that's okay some beautiful things don't have to be practical right you can just enjoy them for what they are so it's going back in its pouch and back in its box until we meet again um you know and it's like summer and maybe you guys have weddings to go to and maybe you'll like one of these bags so again like all of these i purchased like a while ago there's nothing new here but um some of them i'm pretty sure you can still find i'm looking at my bandana my husband said if i'm doing the like west coast east coast thing and i'm like clearly not um anyway i i never wear bandanas it's just this by the way this is a little scarf bandana it's um it's by hifinas which is G-I-F-I-N-A-S. Uh, and that it's a brand by a Dominican lady. So my family's not from the Dominican Republic. I was born in New York. But, you know, my culturally, I'm Dominican. And anyway, so she has a whole line with leggings and bathing suits and scarves with um, the faceless dolls. I want to do a video on my collection that I have of hers because it's really, she makes really beautiful, beautiful things. Anyway, more on that later. So this is my Felice Pochette. This you can get in a number of colors from Louis Vuitton. I really wanted this in red. Um, I really thought hard about it. Like for months, I went, I went to look at it. I had it in my cart. I actually went in store and bought it in store right before the pandemic. I think it was either late 2018 or early 2019. Anyway, the point is, is that first of, I, I wanted it in red and I, it's a beautiful red. Um, I use this a lot because it goes with a lot. Um, it's not flashy is what I'm trying to say. It's like the red is not flashy. It's just a beautiful red. And I have plenty of black bags and I don't know. This is, I thought about it for so long. I'm like, red, do I really want to buy this in red and not like black? And guys, if, if you're attracted to a color, it's for a reason. Um, I love that I got this in red. And then this one brings them um, these inserts, like the card insert. So I have like my initials there. Um, this one, you could, I mean, it's also like more supple. So you can feel a, a little bit more in here and it's a little bit wider than, um, a lot wider than the YSL pouch. Uptown pouch. And this one comes in a variety of colors. It comes in like black. I think it comes in like a beige. It, they had it in that like, is it Rosalie? The pink, the pink that's very famous with Louis Vuitton. Now this one I've also had for over a year and I'm sad to report that I haven't really used it. So this bag, some people, um, I love this, um, the Gucci canvas canvas print and, and the line like I love it I have I have another bag in this two other bags with this print anyway I really wanted this to hold like this um I see some people on here that buy it and they add like the chain to it my mom actually has the one that brings like the chain but I don't know for some reason I want like a hand I think this would look so fancy but I haven't used it um mostly because it's been the pandemic um i mean i've used the other purses but i don't know i'm gonna put a look together with this bag and i'll post it on like instagram thinking maybe like some palazzo pants um 
some v-neck blouse yeah i don't know like i really love it and i just haven't had the opportunity to use it but i can create my own opportunity i'm all about use your things and i usually i for the most part like 99 percent of the time i do use what i buy right away but this one i wouldn't say it was an impulse buy but um actually i was buying some a gift for somebody and i saw and i was like i couldn't stop thinking about it and about holding it like you know like this so i got it but i didn't i just haven't had the chance to use it guys probably gonna wear that this weekend because now that i said that it's gonna be in my radar I really so for the most part I, I don't like things with like logos and labels or like and I know the Gucci um, canvas is very easily recognizable but before I knew that Gucci was Gucci right I loved loved that um that print like when I was a kid I mean um and now we're gonna go for some fun summer clutches so this one it's from Dave McLaughlin I guess you pronounce so I this is the only item I own from that store never have I ever bought clothes or anything from there um guys this bag is so cute first of all oh you can't see either but like you know it stands on its own it has like little legs it's pretty roomy inside and look at this beautiful like um lined print that it has anyway and look the little bamboo closure i wore this last summer when we went to the dominican republic i think yeah to a dinner but i mean to me this is a piece of art like i i loved this um little clutch when i saw it i had to have it i got it and i almost i love it so much i wish that like I had a backup in case this one gets messed up or something i think like that sometimes like that's why um sometimes there's like i like read like a shirt or jeans and i'll get like two of them because i think you know one might get messed up or something i don't know then these two these two are wallets on chains they're tory birch this one has a history i mean i've had this one now i've had this one for 11 or 12 years it's the only bag i wear throughout like my pregnancy with my daughter um for a very very long time actually it's the only bag i wore like i don't i, I just gravitated towards it um because also i was using it as my wallet so i would grab it even if i had a bigger bag and i would then put this in there because all my cards and license and everything was in here anyway the point is that this button popped off right this little you know the closure and so even though i had already owned it for like seven or eight years at that point i, I had bought it from bloomingdale's and i still because i don't erase emails i still had the receipt and i went and i was like look can you guys fix this, this is my favorite bag blah 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 whatever and they're like well it's kind of old or really but they repaired it they did they repaired it they took a few weeks to give it back to me, but they repaired it and now I still use it, but I'm careful not to overstuff it because I don't want the closure to see. I don't know if they sew sewed it back on. Oh, it's not coming up on camera, but you could see like where the leather, I guess where they were fixing it. Anyway, that's nothing on the quality of a Tory Burch because you guys don't understand. Like I wore this to the ground and then more recently but also a few years ago maybe four or five years ago i got this one this is in the navy blue just i wanted one in a darker color and i use this one plenty as well um not as much as i use the orange one but and then you guys have seen this one i'm going to call this the resort wallet um this one is from Polen. And again, I said it wasn't adjustable, but it totally is adjustable. My friend pointed out the other day. And the reason why I'm going to call this the resort bag is because that's where I've used it at resorts. Um, 
it's good to put like if you have a hotel key even though now you can also have them on apps on your phone but um you know a lot of hotels still, still give you like a little physical key and you put it in here your license you know a little bit of money for like tips and stuff and it's perfect for that because even if you were like to the pool or whatever it's easy to hide like under your towel because it's so tiny and um it's not bulky i love the color combination this like taupe with the gold and it, it's it's very cute see miss leva i talk so much about not liking tiny purses and look how tiny this one is um but it is practical in certain scenarios is what i wanted to say that one and this one is one of my least worn bags i even thought about like selling this one but then i couldn't bear the thought of like not having it because i really liked it when i like bought it and i still kind of do um this red is a little bit different than the the louis vuitton one um i know what it is but i can adjust the straps it's just if you wear it crossbody it hits at like a weird length but katie you can totally adjust this wow um we'll see we'll see and then this one i bought last summer um this is a brand this is a dominican designer see it's i forget this material guys you're gonna have to help me it's not raft and it's i forget this material it's like those anyway look how beautiful this clutch is this one i found love just as much as i did with um the little one that i showed you um the one that i told you i wanted to buy two of in case it got messed up so yeah so this is the name of the brand it's called jenny polanco she is known actually for well she's passed away she passed away of covid actually this dominican designer and unfortunately that's when i discovered her because you know she was all over the news and stuff but she's known for her uh, linen clothing which is she she does things that i've never seen people do with linen usually it's like pretty plain but she has like you know the amber buttons and like just the cuts the design i mean check out her stuff because it's really beautiful and this bag is so pretty guys it's also one of those to just wear like this uh, and those are like the more like summery bags and now this one the only reason I got this, first of all, Instagram made me buy it because it kept popping up in my news feed. And you know how they brainwash you with that kind of stuff. So this is from a New York City brand. It's called Marcella. Marcella. And I have two dresses by this brand that are absolutely gorgeous. They're plain black dresses, but they're very, I mean, the fit is amazing. And I love this clutch because it's simply so huge. Look how big it is. Oh, see, last time I wore this to a Valentine's Day party. Yeah, I'm looking at like the pictures from like the photo booth. Anyway, guys, this is like a statement piece. So you know how I say sometimes that uh, I like some statement piece like jewelry, like costume jewelry and stuff. But look at this. It's so long. I love it. I love it so much. Just, just, it's a plain black clutch, but see how big it is anyway I think it's lovely and then this one remember I told you guys that one time I was into um leopard print well one time once upon a time I was into snake print as well um but this is the only item that remains from my snake print obsession actually I think I have a belt too that I need to get rid of because I don't like it and this bag is also beautiful, simple, black outfit. Um, even though it's like snake skin and it's black and like beige and stuff, it, like, it's very neutral. Um, like it, looks, it looks well with so much, with so many different things. And, oh, this is another one. Did I end up wearing this one? I don't remember if I ended up wearing this one. This is another Amazon purchase. Look how sparkly. Sometimes I feel like I'm my six-year-old daughter. And I'm like, oh, sparkles. 
I used to have, you know, you remember those Tom sneakers? I used to have like the pink glittery ones because um, they used to make them for adults and then I haven't found them since. Um, I used to love those sneakers. Well, shoes, I guess. Tom's shoes. <gasps> Don't you guys love it when you find money in a bag? Look at this. Five bucks. This is probably for like coat check or something. Um yeah i forget where i wore this but i did wear it but i wear it i just i don't remember if it was the main wedding that i just went to but um amazon guys amazon and it comes in this little pouch thing Mil millicente whatever this is from amazon um the things that I've bought like on Amazon or that I think might still be around, I, I'll try to link below in case you guys want um, to check them out or you like something that you see here. But again, I don't make too, too many promises because these are very... I forgot the name of this bag. This is a very popular Tory Birch bag and this is a burgundy red. And I haven't worn this as much because... I make things up in my head all the time like rules that aren't real um in the sense of i think this is a fall bag i think this is for you know october november um you know late september it's a deep deep wine color it's coming out darker on camera like it looks brownish but it's like um like wine like a wine red and i've made up that this is a fall bag and i i haven't used it since the fall so and this, this chain's really pretty. Like it's, it, you, you can wear it long, but I prefer to wear it like this. Like I double up the, the chain and then it's over my shoulder like this. <sighs> yeah, there's no like rules. This whole like no white after Labor Day and like you can like, well, I'm like that more like that with scents than with bags, except for this bag I decided is a fall bag. Um. But the other scents are more like wintery and others are more summery. But I, I wear what I want mostly. Oh, I lied, guys. I, I lied. I do have another snake print left. It's also a bag. This one's not really a clutch. It's bigger. This is the only Michael Kors bag that I have in my collection. And probably the only one that I will have. Because, I don't know. I was never really like too much of a fan of Michael Kors. I think I had one of like the big totes when they came out. And then because everybody literally had them, I used to work um, in the city. And I think every variation and my same bag, I would see 15 times on the subway in New York City. And then I know that, you know, I don't mind inspiring people. I don't mind if somebody has my same thing, but like when it's everybody, it's a little bit too like, you know, you want to keep a little originality somehow. But yeah, so this is Michael Kors. So I do have, I have two snake print things left in my life. And then here we have this black clutch. This black clutch. I know, I know the Marcella one's a little bit similar, but the Marcella one is really, really long. And this one is like a little bit like croc embossed, which by the way, I want one of those Demelier bags, Demelier, um, but it's the one that looks like a tote and it's kind of like this shape and it's croc. I really want a croc embossed bag, like very badly, but I don't need one. We do not need one, Katie. This is very nice. And this one, Steve Madden, I've had this since my college years, which wasn't that long ago. Um... Oh no, I think it's starting to peel here. Anyway, it's gold and purple. This is, I mean, this bag is circa. When did I buy this? 2004, 2003? It's old guys. Um, and it has a chain as well that I have never ever used because I just always use it as a clutch. I'm gonna have to find, I mean, I don't know, this is Steve Madden. I don't think that it's real leather by any means, but um, it's peeling a little bit here in the corner. I wonder if I could get that repaired just because this little bag has a lot of history with me. 
we've partied a lot i don't want to get rid of it and so i forget what came in this bag it was like uh shoes or a shirt or something and then i use it to keep these uh, clutches that don't otherwise have a home and guys i think oh one more and this is uh the mark jacobs travel i mean camera bag i also was obsessed with this and wore it for like three summers straight um it's like the different pinks and they have this in like a a ton of colors i think they're still making it but they they had it in a ton of colors before and i like that the strap the strap kind of matches so it's like because usually the strap is like a not very like it, it's a sharp contrast with the strap that comes with these um like it'll be you know, like a neon green or something with i don't know a purple or something like that um but i like that this is um more on the matchy side um this bag this bag is easy also for like travel because you you know it's crossbody it's big enough to carry essentials it doesn't get heavy um it's cute so you know it's not like you're cramping your style or anything so um maybe i'll take it off for a spin again now that it's warm and that oh wow 26 minutes this video i mean i have to edit some of it but um those are my clutches and small bags guys i um the only one that i because i think i think it's behind a box of one of the, my big purses is the one that's also lizzie 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 lurch that has like a little bee motif um if i find out I'll post a picture but um yeah that's all guys that is all i hope you enjoyed this video um again is there like a main point to this video no it's not my clutch collection clutch and small bags because i i've said so many times i don't like small bags i'm not a small bag person and then i realized that i have a lot um there's a place for clutches in life and sometimes there's a place for smaller bags um so i hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for my hifinas video that i'll do about the faceless dominican dolls oh and guys well i posted this dress on instagram very nice and flattering and i like the pink color because it's been gloomy here in new jersey it's gonna rain the next seven days in a row according to the weather app and um you know i just wanted to wear a pop of color